in this video we're going to cover the topic of how to add an internal hard drive such as we have here to a DVR, in this case a 4-way DVR. So basically a lot of DVRs come like this without the hard drive included and it's, uh, you can just add them on afterwards. So um, we're going to cover the basics then in terms of what tools we need. So a, a basic Phillips screwdriver is all we, we, we require for this job. And in terms of precautions we need to take, uh, you're certainly best off to use a static strap uh, if possible. Uh, are, and constantly ground yourself then uh, by touching the metal casing as well to minimise the, the potential for static damage to the hard drive itself. Uh, in terms then of uh, the DVR, we need to take the cover off. So the first step is to undo, in this case, seven screws, all with Phillips um, type connections, such so as this Phillips screw here, just point it out to you, and I'll just show you where that's located. Four locking or the seven locking points are there's two locking points here, another two on, the, on this end, the same, and then on the back we have a total of three Phillips screws locking it in, basically in the two corners and also in the center here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide off the cover at this point. So it just lift it up and slide it backwards. So that's it. So then inside here, I'll just show you inside the, the two basic things is we have two cables here. We have this cable here, which is basically a power cable for providing power to the DVR. And also then we have the secondary cable here, which I'll just hold up for you, and that's for uh, the data. So that's to connect the hard drive uh, uh, into the DVR. So um, the next thing here, we'll just look here and we'll see that there's four mounting points here. Here, 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 and here. And this is for actually securely bolting in the hard drive into the DVR. So you can see basically it's empty space mainly next up to the DVR just for quite a bit of room to work with. So the first thing I'll do is just touch here to ground myself onto the casing and then I'll open up the empty stack bag here and we'll just slide out the hard drive. Now if I'm not going to immediately work with the hard drive I'm just going to leave it on top of the empty stack bag here. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to locate the four screws I'm going to use for bolting this hard drive into position. Now it came actually with the user manual inside the pack on this particular DVR. Okay? So this, the, the basic standardized design in terms of distances between the holes, etc. So if we look at the, this DVR, or at this hard drive here, we can see there's a series of three holes and the same on the far side. Here, here, and here. Okay? So they are equally di they're the same distance as these here because it's an industry standard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open up this pack of four and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply going to come along I'm going to pick up the hard drive here I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to start by connecting in the power so you can see here what I need to do is just line it up and slide it in so that's the power connected and the next one is the actual data so if I turn this the earthing connection here downwards and that's it. So that's basically, now I turn the hard drive back over and the next step is just to try to line it up with the mounting holes here. Okay, so I'll just slide this in as best I can. Now, so that's going quite neatly. So we can see here, we can see the hole on the side but currently we don't actually have it lined up perfectly and now we more or less do. So I'll take up the first screw here, put it on my Phillips screwdriver. I'll get that one in a moment. And we just screw it in. Okay, and we'll do the same with the next one. So that's gone in there. And obviously we repeat the same process by simply turning this around and putting in the screws on this side here. Which in this case, obviously it's a show here. Just go here and here, okay? So we'd lock it in thing. And at that point then, um, once we have it securely locked in like that, we'd simply come along, put the cover back on like this, and we're able to move to our next phase, which would be to power back up and actually format the hard drive that we just fitted. So that's it anyway, an overview of how to fit an internal hard drive to a DVR.